In this video, we're going to give an overview of section 3.3 on evaluating limits algebraically. So our goals for this section are to look at limits, so things of the form limit as x approaches a of f of x, and be able to recognize the form the limit has after we plug a in for x. And then based off of that, identify what strategy to use. So we're going to look at four cases. So the first is where f of x is a known function and a is a number that's in the domain and that'll involve just plugging a in and we'll see that in the next video. So the second case is when we plug in, if we end up with something of the form non-zero on top, zero on the bottom, and there we'll evaluate one-sided limits. The third case is if we get what's called an indeterminate form and that's something like zero over zero or infinity over infinity, maybe with some negatives in there. And in a situation like that, we simplify first. And then the last case is if none of those happens, and then we have to use logic to determine what the limit is. Okay. So the next thing we'll do is we'll look at an example of a piecewise function and determine how we find a limit with a piecewise function. We will also talk about finding the limit of a difference quotient and that'll be a preview to the definition of the derivative. And then finally, we'll talk about how to find infinite limits.